Hello, what's up, folks? We're doing great. We're back with another exciting video tutorial. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create uh, this effect inside this Anima 4 dr one without using any plugin. So, we are using a for a uh, field force, it's a new uh, update inside Anima 4 So, let me show you what we're gonna create. So, as you can see here, we have a brony fracture with a force field sorry field 4 so let's start from the beginning first we create a new project file so we create a simple cube or you can create anything you want so there we go smaller now we add a brony fracture tag uh, on it so hold on and add a one fracture so as you can see here now we just add more points and we go in source there go in point generate and change point amount to i think be good so just we disable uh, these points for now so now as you can see here so next thing we need to create a uh, we need to add a force field from simulation forces and here you find a force field so just uh, click on brony fracture and drag and drop inside the field force object tab and select as a more graph object don't use point object use a more graph object and now in follow up go in field force and in follow up tab and create a spherical field or you can use anything you can use torus any field you want so i'm using uh, sphere field here we go so let me just make it a bit smaller you can use any field i, I will show you in few moments so now we create uh, add a rigid a simulation rigid body tab tag on our brony fracture right click go in simulation tag and click on rigid body so now if you hit play here so as you can see it's all these parts going down so now we just what we do click on dynamics tab click go in trigger and change it to a at velocity peak so for giving them velocity we need to add a more graph effector uh, we are we use a random effector you can use any ones so we use a random effector now what we do we also use a field inside the random effector follow so click on random uh, uh, random effector and go in follow tab and drag and drop same field we are using under field force use this spherical field same this spherical field inside the randomized inside the random effector so as you can see here now we just have our random effector effect on just spherical field area so as you can see here so now we give them little bit what we say little bit movement like we animated so you can do just simply giving them keyframe so we add a keyframe here and on 90 frame you can give them here so as you can see here now we animate our spherical field so what's going on so but it's too much so what we can do here we go in field force and go in object, object tab and change velocity tag to set absolute velocity so it give you a little bit for okay so next thing go in random and go in parameters in position just add 0 0 to all, everything and give them to 5 so now we hit play so as you can see here it slow down your simulation speed so you can use any other field so let me show you more examples so as you can see we just go and follow up. just turn off spherical field for now and we add a torch here 
So here we go. We're just make it a little bit smaller. And we also go in random a factor and go in follow up and turn off our spherical field and now we use a torus as our field. So as you can see here we have a torus here. We just hit play and if we take our torus here or we just simply do that nothing happened but when we do this So it's not gonna affect them too much because we don't have uh, too much what we say movement here. So as you can see here, you can give them any shape, or you can do like this. So this gives you a lot much control on your fracturing of uh, fracturing of your object. So. I hope you like this video. If you didn't subscribe my channel, so don't forget to subscribe it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.